Hi guys, I'm Kate if you're new here. I'm a skincare enthusiast just like you and I thought it would be really fun to sit down today and just talk to you about the brand The Pure Lotus. So if you've ever been curious about this brand or you've never heard of them and you just kind of want to hear my thoughts and opinions, which products I've used, which ones I would repurchase, um, then yeah, this is the video for you. But while you're here, if you could subscribe to my channel or even hit that bell or just in some way interact with the channel, whether it be leaving a like or a comment, um, I would really appreciate it uh, because that would help my channel out tremendously. Let's talk about the brand. I was actually online shopping, as you do, and I ended up on the Peach and Lily website, and so I'm looking through at all the different Korean skincare, and this was about a year or so ago, and I saw this brand, The Lotus, and I was like, what is this? So I'm reading up about it, and, and The Lotus comes from Jeju Island, which is in Korea. I had a friend who used to work there, so now I'm even more intrigued. Does, it, does anyone else do this when they're shopping? Like, you make these connections, and you're like, oh yeah, like, this is my thing, right? I'm looking, and then I see a couple other things that this brand uses high, high concentrations of lotus leaf. In fact, sometimes it's the first or second ingredient, high concentrations of lotus leaf. Not in everything, but in a few of their products. And we'll talk about those in a little bit. But I was so excited um, to see that because lotus leaf is supposedly anti-aging, right? So it's, it fights against free radicals and it supposedly helps to like, keep your elastin and your collagen kind of more intact. So um, the other thing is that the water on Jeju Island is known for being extremely clean and we know that most products have water in it. So I was just really impressed with everything that I was reading. Of course the lotus leaf comes from the pond at this temple and I'm going to go ahead and put it here because I don't want to butcher the name and you know if you're like a skincare um, like a uh, skeptic you might be thinking oh yeah it comes from this like temple with like special water and yeah i mean i understand but as a skincare enthusiast that like sung to my heart okay so that's a little bit about the brand and um yeah they have a really great instagram page too i follow them on there they used to follow me i don't know if they still follow me but um they just they're pumping <laughs> there's a lot of stuff um there's a lot of different products that you can get from uh the pure lotus the brand you can find more of them on yes style than you can on like peach and lily um i've never tried tried style von or anything like that but i think yes style is like an official retailer the problem is you do on yes style have to wait quite a while for things to show up right like so we're gonna actually start with this cleanser here it has a ph of 6.5 which is similar to your skin's ph and um what they say about this cleanser is that it is a gel cleanser that can then turn into a foaming cleanser so what does that mean exactly so in theory you could use this one product to do your double cleanse so you would take the gel on dry face massage it into your skin for 60 seconds i always do 60 seconds it'll lift up any of the dirt and sunscreen makeup off your face and then you slowly start to add water and it becomes a foam cleanser so in theory you're getting two products in one i never used it that way and i only used it as a regular cleanser and it still lasted me a year so i imagine if you used this and your double cleanse it's just one less product to deal with i did not try it that way so i can't attest to if that works or not if you have used this in that way i would love to hear your thoughts on that now this is actually a very expensive product <laughs> it ranges between 30 and 40 dollars depending on where you shop before you come for me i did get it on sale on yes style a year ago it was 16 dollars or 15 dollars something like that so um because of the price and because i really like the the steps of a double cleanse versus just like a one product i probably will not be repurchasing this but i did really really enjoy it 
So the second product is actually this lotus leaf essence. So you might be thinking, well, that sure looks like a full bottle. So spoiler, <laughs> this is a repurchase. In fact, I've, I've actually bought this three times. I know, I know, no shame. Um, but I, I love it. This is my absolute favorite product in the entire line. So let's talk about what's inside and kind of why I like it so much. So the first thing is that it has 89% lotus leaf extract. Now that's an extremely, extremely high percentage, right? It's in fact, it's even the first ingredient on the bottle. And so how do they do that? Because most stuff has a ton of water in it. So I'm going to actually read you the back here and talk to you about it. <laughs> so the back says the essence includes lotus leaf extract solution in place of purified water. The product reduces and stabilizes skin irritation and skin stress. So that is the niacinamide that's inside. It maintains clearer, younger, and healthier skin. And that's the adenosine that's in here. So um, there's a lot, obviously a lot more going on in there, but three main things are the lotus leaf extract, the adenosine, and the niacinamide. So it has all of those things inside it. However, the price is quite hefty. The price is going to range you somewhere between $40 and $65. <laughs> Don't judge. I feel that you're judging me. But if you're a skincare junkie, maybe you're not. Um, I do often wait for it to go on sale at Yes Style, and then I'll buy a couple at a time. Um, just because the shipping takes forever anyway, and I don't want to miss out on a good sale because I cannot afford to be paying $64 uh, a pop for these. So um, that would be my suggestion, but this I absolutely love. So product three is the Lotus Leaf Essence Lotion. I know, I know, you're probably thinking, wait, you have an essence and an essence lotion? Come on. I consider this more like a lightweight moisturizer for the summertime. So I use it only at night, right? I don't use it during the day because I'm using sunscreen, right? Um, so this is a really light, lightweight moisturizer that can be used during the summer when you don't want to wear those heavy creams. I mean, you could use it anytime, but that's just when I use it. So it does have only 70%. I know that sounds awful, only 70, but in comparison to 89%, um, you know, it does have less and there are far more ingredients. And some of those ingredients are <laughs> oils like lavender oil and citrus oil, which I know, I know we don't want essential oils on things that we leave on our skin, but you know what? Sometimes I just want to buy things that I like. You know what I mean? I try really hard to be good to my skin, but you know, sometimes you just, you buy something because you like it, okay? So no judgment there if you happen to be one of those people. Um, I don't, I really try to buy good, good skincare, but I couldn't help myself. So I really, really like this. The application is simple. You really only need one pump. So because it has this very watery consistency without using water, it's that solution, uh, the Lotus Leaf Extract Solution. It just goes over your face so wonderfully. There's no real tugging. It's got great slip, right? And because it's so light, it soaks into your skin really, really fast. So I really love it for those reasons. Um, and it, it does a lot of the same things, you know, it's supposed to help with skin irritation and keeping skin looking nice and smooth and all of that good stuff, just like the essence, right? But because of the oils and things like this, and because of the very long ingredient list, um, I think that this will be the last bottle that I have of it. I don't think I will repurchase it a third time. So product, so product four is actually the Lotus, Lotus Leaf Calming Serum. And it's highly suggested that you use this during the summer months and you use it after cleansing. So it's supposed to be like a toner serum hybrid. Okay. I never used it like that. I just used it in my normal serum step. 
Um, so that is something to keep in mind. I personally thought that this serum was just okay. I didn't see any major like improvements in my skin. I didn't see any, you know, things arise because of using it. I just felt like kind of middle of the road, very indifferent to this product. Um, I am looking at some reviews online and people seem to really, really like it, um, which is fantastic. I just personally didn't feel that this product did much for me. Upon some further review, I did see that there are some fragrances and there are some, you know, essential oils. They call them extracts, but essentially that's an essential oil. They are towards the bottom of the ingredient list, so I wouldn't be too concerned about, you know, oh my gosh, it's a leave-on product and it's got this fragrance and these oils in it um, because it is pretty low. Uh, however, you know, we know that fragrance, especially on leave-in stuff, can really affect your skin. So that is something to keep in mind. This is also quite expensive. There is such a variation on price. So at the time of filming on Yes Style, it was $17. If you look on Peach and Lily, which is like the American, one of the American uh, retailers that carry it, they carry it for like 40 plus dollars. So definitely if you're intrigued or you want to try it, I would highly suggest Yes Style. So I've done a little research and um, there's a couple things that they're talking about or that they're claiming and I can't attest to that because I haven't tried it yet, but now I, I want to try it. So the first is they're saying that this should be used anytime you have some sort of like skin irritation. So maybe you've had a laser procedure done to your skin and you need to calm that skin down. Maybe you have some sort of like a sunburn. Um, and you need to calm the sunburn down a bit and that this is going to help to really calm that down and to kind of speed up the healing process. Um, they do suggest that in the summertime you keep it in the refrigerator and not that products need to be kept in the refrigerator. Like don't even get me started on the skincare fridge. I've had a total 180 about that, but, um, it has aloe in it and I don't know about you guys, but I have pure aloe in my refrigerator at all times and there is nothing better in this world than when your skin, especially is sunburnt, is to stick nice cold aloe on the sunburn. Oh my gosh, it's like the best feeling. If you know, you know, right? So anyway, they, they do suggest, and that is my guess on that. They also say that for men's shaving, I would assume women's shaving too, that if you get irritation, um, you could stick this, use this product to help with that. And then the one that intrigued me the most is they said for dry, itchy scalp, you can use it once a week. Okay, so I currently am really battling such an itchy scalp you guys and it is to the point where it gets so bad that I will actually start bleeding um so hi full disclosure uh so I definitely struggle with that to the point where I'm almost ready to go to a dermatologist uh once all of this this uh corona stuff is done so with that said, I actually have a new, a new, new um, appreciation for this. Now, one thing that they say is that there is fragrance in this and it's minimal, like minimal. They do claim that their other products don't have fragrance, but if it has some sort of a essential oil in it, lavender oil, things like this, that is still technically fragrance. So I think there's like a distinction there, but now I'm actually very interested. I am gonna try this on my scalp and I am going to leave it in the refrigerator and see how that goes. So product five is this little beauty here. It's the Lotus Leaf Sleeping Pack. And I actually really enjoyed this. So with all the products that I showed you today, all of them have a very watery consistency, right? So it spreads easily, it's got good slip, you're not tugging on your skin and it absorbs fast. And that's something that I really, really love about this brand. And sleeping packs are fantastic. I typically only use them during the winter because in the winter time, we tend to be running the heat more in the house. 
our skin tends to dry out. We go from hot to cold, hot to cold, right? And so it really takes a toll on your skin. And so deep, deep hydration, extra hydration is so important at that time. And I find that in the winter months is when my skin tends to act up the most, right? So what ends up happening is if you are very aggressive in your skincare, and I don't just mean people who like exfoliate, right? Because if you're putting a ton of products on your skin, even if you put them gingerly, that is also considered aggressive. If you put on tons and tons of moisturizers, you are being aggressive. So um, that's just something to, to kind of think about. But what I like about this is if you're noticing that your skin is freaking out, at any time in the year your skin is freaking out, what you can do is you could just do a cleanser and then a sleeping pack and really paring down your skincare until your skin has a chance to kind of like heal itself and regenerate and like get back to its normal state that it's in, that it's usually in, it's best to cut down your steps. And so getting something like this, a sleeping pack that's super hydrating, is going to be very beneficial. One of the things that I talked about earlier is this has a very watery consistency. And that's really good because one thing I've heard from people is they say, okay, I bought this sleeping pack and it's so heavy and my face feels sticky and I can't sleep, right? Like it's too much. And then they end up wiping it off. So they're basically just wiping away their money, right? Like, and that's never a good thing. So I would say getting something that's a little bit more lightweight that's gonna absorb is a better option for you. So the con is that it does have some fragrance. It is down low on the list, but that is a con. And then the pro is just how fast it absorbs and then like the wearability, right? So people can wear it throughout the night and then they wake up with this like regenerated skin that's super hydrated. And that's like, to me, the biggest cure for wrinkles. I mean, you're gonna get wrinkles unless you can afford the Botox and the procedures, but the majority of us, you know, <laughs> Botox is, is not in our league and I would highly, don't even get me started on Groupon Botox, okay? So hydration is key for keeping your face looking very plump and the plumper your face looks, the less wrinkles there are. So um, those are my top five products that I have tried. <laughs> um, and so of all of them, I think truly, honestly, the only one that I would repurchase is the Essence. I cannot, I cannot tell you enough how much I love this product. I enjoy all of the products. Please don't get me wrong on that. I actually, I really like the sleeping pack. I'm actually excited. I'll probably do an update on this serum because I really want to try that for my, my scalp. So I'll be doing an update on that. The lotion... So, so let's, let's, let's rank these. So my least favorite to my top favorite, right? So, um, let's go with the, this is actually hard, you guys. How do I choose? Um, let's go with this. This is my potentially least favorite favorite product. This is the calming serum. I did not notice any improvement in my skin or anything like that. However, <laughs> so out of, uh, I have five products. So this one is ranked number five, <laughs> but now with the fact that it says it's supposed to be really good for like sensitive sensitivity and like scalp issues, I'm going to actually try this and then report back to you when it's empty. So this potentially could move up the ladder. <laughs> okay, my second coming in at number four is the cleanser. So I, I think this cleanser is just fine, but I think it's just too expensive for a cleanser. And that is the only reason that I'm putting it at spot number four. Okay, the third coming in at number three is the Lotus Leaf Essence Lotion. It's a lovely product, but you don't really need that and the essence. You just need one or the other. I really don't think you need both. So I'm gonna put this in position three. 
And then, of course, position two is going to be the sleeping pack. I just really like it for hydration. I know it has some fragrance, um, but I use it during the winter, and I really like how it feels on my skin, and I like the results. So, and finally, you guessed it, because I've repurchased this three times, this gets my top spot. I absolutely love this. I love it, love it, love it. This will always be a repurchase unless I can't afford it. <laughs> I, I love this one. If you're gonna get one product from them, I would suggest this is the product. All right guys, that is it. That was kind of my review on the brand, the products that I have tried, what I would repurchase, what I wouldn't repurchase, and kind of my ranking of those five products. So if you at all like this and you're still here, leave me a comment. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Again, I am just a skincare enthusiast. I have a lot to learn, um, but I do really use these products. I've been using them for about a year, so I thought it was a good time to sit down and talk to you about it. So I hope this was fun for you guys, and if you buy anything, let me know. Let me know your thoughts, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.